years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. From Harlem, it's the Alex Bennett Ramble. Yes, here we are, ladies and gentlemen, and we'll be here until uh, midnight Eastern Daylight Time, and uh, we'll be having our citizens panel in just a little bit. Hi, how are you? What's happening out there? Okay, I don't know. I a few little problems starting off tonight, but I got it all on fairly smoothly, so uh, that's a first for us this week. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. So anyway, where are we? Uh, so and what, what are we talking about? What are we going to go uh, do tonight? Uh, you know, I, uh, I, a girlfriend doesn't want to do the show anymore. So uh, uh, I have come Friday nights, I got nothing to do with it. I got to find some other guest to put in here during that time. So if you have any suggestions of who you'd like to hear. But uh, girlfriend has ceased to love you anymore and doesn't want to have anything to do with you. So I thought I would just... You know, get along without her. Mm. Yeah, she said to me tonight, she said, ah, it's just nothing when we're together and all you do is insult me. So I went, okay, all right. You know, I'm not trying to insult you, but what the hell. Anyway, so uh, I have nothing to talk about, nothing. And I've been uh, tired again today. I'll tell you what we did do. We, we <laughs> oh, yeah. We decided that uh, my um, uh, driver's license expires in um, December, December 18th, my birthday. And November 3rd, uh, hers expires, so we decided that we would go to the DMV to get our licenses renewed and also get that special thing you get that will allow you to get on airplanes with your driver's license, all right? Uh, it's all part of the great American paranoia, where we're all worried that somebody's out to kill us, okay? And you know, somebody probably is, but what the fuck? Anyway, so uh, I um, uh, so so what we did is we said we're going to do this the e easy way. We're going to write in, and we're going to make an appointment, right? And. Uh, then you make an appointment, and it, mine was for like uh, 150, and hers was for 145. Okay, so we go down there, and we uh, go up to this place, and they look at our stuff and everything. They say, "Okay, we'll sit down and wait for your number to get called." Okay, and they give you this little ticket with a number, right? And and uh, all this went very smoothly because we had signed up ahead of time, which you got to do. Because I looked at the people who were lined up. Who didn't do that when they could have okay and uh, I mean that line was hellacious all right so uh, uh, I decided uh, okay that's fine um, and we each get our numbers and she's like e352 and I'm e353 or something like that and we sit there and they keep saying these different numbers and all of a sudden they give out my number and they say go to you know, uh, desk five or something like that, which I do. And I go and I give them all my stuff and I've got my, uh, my driver's license and I've got my passport and I've got a proof of a letter that I got to prove that I lived in this apartment house uh, and uh, like, you know, from the bank so that they can, so I'm, I'm proving my, my existence, all right? And then what was the other thing I had to give them? Um, not a birth certificate, passport. Oh, and then my driver's license. So anyway, four four pieces of proof. They and they all approved that, and then he signed it. And then they said, okay. And the charge is, and I'm going. You know, when I, last time I got my driver's license, I think it was sixteen bucks or something like that. That was ten years ago. A hundred and ten dollars. Mm-hmm. One hundred and ten dollars. It's it's a lot less. But they add thirty dollars for this special thing, so you can get on airplanes. So it got pretty, uh, pretty expensive. 
all right? It was an expensive day for me at the DMV. Uh, meanwhile, I look over, and girlfriend is still sitting there. And I said to him, I said, uh, my, my uh, wife is still sitting over there. She obviously hasn't been called. My number was after hers, and I got called before her. And he, he, I said, said, he said, well, what was the number? I said, it's one number before mine. And he looked up. He said, oh, well, she's going to be called next. So I go sit down with her. I say, you're going to be called next. Well, uh, she wasn't called next. And then there's another number and another number. And, but she's not being called. I don't know what happened. Eventually, we got to somebody and we said, what's happening here? Because she hasn't been called. And they said, oh, well, go over to window seven and that person will help you. And that person finally put her through. But we were sitting around waiting for a good half hour before we even got the information to do that. All right. Uh, and so that was hellacious. What we thought was going to be a nice, smooth, easy peasy, get the thing done and get the fuck out of there deal, uh, took longer than we thought. It would have been just right if they had called her at an efficient time, but they didn't. So, uh, I, I don't know. And they made no excuse for why her number didn't get called, you know? And, um, so, so we spent uh, quite a, we spent an hour down there, but I know what you're saying. An hour at the DMV? That's a godsend. But, but you'd think they've got this, they figure they've got this down, right, so they can get people through fast and so on? Nah, they haven't got it down at all, so I'm cleaning dust off my table while I'm talking to you. I, I really wish this were radio again, and then I could sit here naked if I wanted to. Anyway, so that was our day at the DMV. And then... We come back, and it, we live in a part in an apartment, and right a, right next to me, across this wall here that, that that you can't see, that's right there. Okay, um, on the other side of that wall is another apartment, and uh, I sometimes can hear them there. Okay, because the walls in here are a bit thin. Uh, and I know they have a kid and stuff. And then there's this big kind of what used to be a door. You can see the frame is still there. And they put a mirror in there. And uh, the, it used to go across into the next apartment or another room in the next. I don't know what it was. Anyway, we're coming back. And we meet up with this couple and their kid. And Marjorie knows them because she's met them before. And they're the people that live in the apartment right over here. So we hear that it's a bigger apartment. Can you imagine? Ours is, is uh, 2,500 feet, square feet. So for there to be a bigger apartment, you really got to gasp, okay? And um, so they said, would you like to come up, have a glass of wine and see the apartment? And they said, oh, sure. Because they had spent, the, the building had spent about $200,000 uh, to refurbish it. And then they spent another hundred thousand or something to fix it up themselves uh, to their specifications. So we said, we said we got to see this, you know. And we went up, and what we saw was amazing. They've got five bedrooms. Okay, we only have three. They have five bedrooms. Uh, more than five bedrooms. Here comes the best part. They have four fireplaces one of which is in their bedroom. Now I'm really jealous, okay? And then the whole thing is just, you know, the doors are really nice and everything. Here, this place is a little schlumpy. If you look at the door back here, see that? That door is just, you know, that, that door has got to be taken off its hinges and taken down to a shop and sanded and varnished and the hardware changed in it. And I have about one, two, three maybe four other doors that I would want to do the same exact thing with. Okay. So, um, uh, so I'm, I'm, you know, um, so, but the doors are all really nice doors and the, the, the place has been painted nicely and it's, it's, you know, it's been, of course, what are we paying? We're not paying anything. And they're probably paying something like 7,000 a month for that apartment. But what this guy does also is it's also his business. And what is his business? 
he restores violins. Now, as soon as I heard this, I went, you know, my father was a violinist. Uh, and um, uh, so I have a great love for violins. He says, well, then you're going to love this. And he takes me into a room where he's got a lock on the door, you know, one of these punch locks, okay. And then we go in, and he's got a safe, you know, uh, a giant safe. And he opens up the safe, and he pulls out two violin cases. And one case has two violins in it, and the other case has uh, one violin in, in it. And he says, look at these. These are Stradivariuses. Uh, <laughs> I looked at this because my father, being a musician, you know, when I grew up knowing what a Stradivarius was, it was the finest violin probably ever made. Although this guy says there have been better violins, there have been violins as good, but Stradivarius has the reputation. This one Strad that I was looking at was from seven, like 1720. And another Strad he had was from like 1680. And I said, how much are they worth? He says, oh, well, this one's worth, um, I think he said, this one's worth uh, $2 million. Hmm? And he said, and the other one? Oh, that's worth $6 million. What the fuck? And then I picked it up, and he let me put it under my chin because I, I know how to kind of hold a violin under my chin since my father did it all the time, and he tried to teach me the violin when I was a kid. And all of a sudden, there was this kind of like, how can I put it? Uh, this, 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 this thing washed over me about wanting to call my father, who's been dead, you know, for years and years and years and years and years and years, um, died back in, uh, let's see here, when did he die back in? Uh, he died back in 64, 63, somewhere around there. But I had this, the, for the first time in my life, my, the urge to pick up the phone and call my father and say, Dad, guess what I was doing? Uh, and what were you doing, son? I, I just, I, I, I was in the presence of three Stradivariuses, you know. And and one I think he said was worth two million. Another one was worth six million. Six million. They were about twelve million dollars worth of Stradivariuses, looking me in the face, and I was holding one of them. And uh, it just you know to, to be in the presence of a work of art like a Stradivarius, of which he says there are only about twelve hundred left in the world. But they were twelve hundred. He made twelve hundred. And he said, I think there are 600 in the world left because obviously things get broken, things get destroyed. And, uh, but it was just, it was just awesome. It was just awesome to see these violins. And I mean, I wouldn't know a Stradivarius from, uh, you know, uh, a Charlie Daniels fiddle. I mean, because I wouldn't know what to look for but he showed me what to look for, and he said, see the wood and see this and see how this has been made and the tonal quality of it. And, I, he, and he does this for a living. He uh, restores violins and then, um, in many cases, will turn around and sell them to somebody. Now, he, the Stradivariuses were ones he was hired on to uh, uh, restore, he has a guy also that works with him that does the restorations. Uh, and uh, it's, it's it, you know, I just, being in the presence of musical history like that, you have no idea. And you probably don't even appreciate the story I'm telling you. And the reason you don't appreciate it is because I'm my father's kid. My father was a violinist. And I remember once him telling me he was he worked with Jack Benny. Some, at something, right? And he came home and he said that fucking Benny. And I said, "What? What's wrong with Jack Benny? I love Jack Benny." He says, "So do I. So does all America." But he gets out there on stage and he with his violin and he starts scratching out this violin music. Now, 
We all know that Jack Benny was a better violinist than he made out to be, that really uh, playing badly uh, it was something that he did on purpose. That it, and He wasn't a great violinist, but he could make a violin work, okay? He could get a violin to do what a violin had to do and not be embarrassing about it. But no, instead he played it for com comedy. And my father says, he walks out on the stage with his violin, and it's a fucking Stradivarius. He said, what a waste of a good Strad, you know? Because if my father had his way, if he could afford it, he would have wanted to have a Stradivarius. I mean, it's just, that's the, that's the, the uh, godsend of, 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 uh, of the business. Although he did tell me, that there's something he called the Mecca violin, and it's supposedly the best violin in the world, and it's not a Strad, I think he said. Uh, but, oh, man, the story, the stuff he was telling me about these violins, and to be able to hold this thing, this, this uh, well, what is it? If we say that it was about uh, averaged out about uh, coming in at about 1,600, this 500, uh, this, well, excuse me, 400-year-old, violin under my neck okay holding it just the 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 history that was there let me turn on the lights back here if i got to do that last night you know girlfriend's not in here me to nag me about that so i i forget to turn it on but this was just uh, this was just an absolute thrill and um so, you know, and then he showed us around this apartment, which, of course, we were jealous because we can't do anything to this apartment right now. We would do some work on it. You know, there are a lot of things that could be done that would make it uh, uh, really nicer and prettier. Uh, but we can't because we don't have a lease on the place. Uh, and if we get a lease, uh, then we will... Do something with it, but he, this apartment was just, just gorgeous. But then the violin, so what a treat that was! Four, four fireplaces, folks. But he can't use the ones that are near the violins because he has to keep the violins at perfect humidity. He had this violin case that had a gauge on it that gauged the humidity in the violin case, and then it had this bar and you put water in there to create humidity in the, uh, in the case so that the violins don't, uh, don't get too dry. I mean, just amazing what, he had, what these things had to do to preserve them. I mean, but you're talking about two million, four million, six million dollar violins. And uh, so you, you do want something to protect them in any way you possibly can. <laughs> so anyway, I, uh, I, was just, I was just absolutely in awe of what I saw. And, but then it made me really sad because it, it made me, reminded me of my father. And, and, and I kept having, I kept saying all day to day, I want to call my father and tell him what I was just in the presence of. You know, if I had told him, Dad, I, you know, this guy lives next door to us and he's got three Stradivariuses in his apartment right now that he's using to, uh, that he's, he's restoring and that he's working on, and my father would just go, oh, wow, wonderful. You know, he would be thrilled to hear the story. And, the, you know, the fact that I would love to reach for the phone and be able to call him, and I know that I can't. And you know what's funny? Somebody once said to me, when you have a parent that dies, the worst part about your parent dying is that one day, you feel bad when they first die, but you're not really, you're kind of numb to the whole experience. And that about a year later, you suddenly go, I got to call dad. And then you suddenly realize you can't call your father or you can't call your mother. And um, then it really hits you that they're gone. OK, and I don't think it was until today that it really hit me that my father's gone uh, because I couldn't call him to give him this news about. Guess what I saw, Dad? Guess what this, what this guy next door to me has? You know, they're not his. He, he, 
what is it? He restores them uh, for certain for people. Um, he has had some that he has gone and uh, sold, you know, done the sale on things like that. So, you know, just fascinating, just absolutely fascinating. And they're right next door, you know. But they're they're in they're all locked up, and he's got he's got those things are. Yeah, but he's got violins all over the place, and his wife is a violinist, and every now and then she just picks up one of the strads and starts playing with it because of the tone that it gives out, and she says it's a thrill, you know. But anyway, really, uh, really enjoyed the uh, the uh, going there. Uh, let me see here. Anything else that I need to talk to you about? You know, no, I did I did the whole thing about the DMV. So it'll be a couple of weeks, and I'll get my new license. Um, by the way, for those people who are worried about you have to get this license with this special thing on it that allow you to get on an airplane, if you have a passport, then you can just use that, okay? Uh, but you can't get on with your, you know, with your uh, uh, with your driver's license. That's the that's the difference. Well, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna open up the lines a little early here. What the hell? Of course, nobody will call, but I'll open up the lines early. Been very quiet lately. Uh, you know, it, it starts making me wonder whether I really want to keep doing this or not, at least in the present form that I'm doing it, because uh, the participation really is. Been a lackluster. Uh, not, that, not that it hasn't been quality, because uh, uh, these people are... Uh, are, are good quality people that call me and, uh, you know. Oh, well, who's calling? Oh, Ray Renati's the first one in tonight. Ooh. Hey there, Ray. How are you? Hey, hey. Hey, How hey, hey. Let me, let me just, um, let me just uh, give you a spot here. Probably uh, too noisy here. Huh? Probably too noisy here, right? No, uh, no. It's not that noisy. Oh, okay. No, do, do they, but don't they mind you doing that? But you'll you'll see in a moment, folks, when I put them yeah, up here. Comes over. Oh, and here comes Ver here comes Vernon Nunn. Wait a minute, hold on a second. Let me put Vernon up here. Uh, ba -ba -bum. We'll put him in the number. I'll put him in the number three spot because I bet if Charlie Wallace calls, well, yeah, let me see here. Let me put Vernon Nunn in uh, there, and then let me uh, okay that, and then number two spot. Uh, will be uh, Phil Meyer. Let me answer the phone here to get Phil Meyer, and we're getting him in uh, in here. Hold on, uh, come on, uh, cancel a minute. Uh, hold on a second, Josh Wheeler. He's gonna, let me open him up. Uh, hello, Josh. How are you this evening? All right. Now let me see here. Let me take this and go here. Number two, we'll put. Uh, um, who do we want to put in the number two spot? Uh, we'll put uh, uh, Vernon Nunn in the number two spot. Okay. Um, so, uh, wait a minute, I have him in the number three spot. Wait a minute, what, wait a minute. This is all, I'm all mixed up here. Hold on a second. Number two spot, uh, we'll put Josh Wheeler. Okay. Josh Wheeler, there we go. Okay, so who do we have? Oh, and then I got to put Phil Meyer in somewhere, right? Oh, well, we we just won't even put him in anywhere. Okay. Yeah, you don't have to. Yeah, you don't have to. It'll it'll that'll <laughs> shut him up. Uh, let me see here. Let's see, scuba diver. There we go. Okay, and wait a minute. Here comes Kathleen tonight. Wait a minute. This is getting to be a nice regular thing for us. Uh, hello there, darling. How are you this evening? Hold on. Let me give. I'm you, tired. Let me give you your slot. Uh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Who do, who, who do we have here? And um, who, who do I have up here? Uh, I have Ray Renati. I have, mm -hmm, I have, mm -hmm. and okay, okay, here's where I got to put you. Okay, put you in the five place. Okay, and, okay yeah, let's see here. Yes, uh, zoo. there we go. All right, folks, look at this. Here's our... Here's our here's I our know Simpsons I'm delayed, panel. but I'm not seeing the screen. Huh? All I see is you. All you see is me. Well, I don't know. What well, to... Yeah, and that's on the Gabnet feed. What? Oh, on the Gabnet feed. Well, it's, uh, I, that's probably because you're getting a lagged feed, 
and watching yeah, it's the only beginning. About Thirty seconds. Why don't you refresh your screen? And we don't care with what you're seeing there by delay. You know. Hmm. So anyway, hello everybody. Oh, wait a minute. Here comes Charlie Wallace. We got to put Charlie in there. Boy, oh, we're filling up fast. This is this is always nice. This is this is fun. Let me see. Nice full house. Well, I don't know if we'll get a full house, but you know. <laughs> Uh, let me see here, Charlie Wall Charles Wallace. Okay, there we go for Charlie. Um, let me see here. Let me give him um, and we do transition. And there we go. Okay. Ha! Huh. Hello, everybody. How are you? Hi. Hi. Um, yeah. So I was I was with some great violins today. Yeah. Uh, now, what would happen if you dropped one? Actually, his, his wife did. I think she really? fell and fell on one. Yeah. Wow. But they was he able to fix it. Yeah. 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 In fact, she was hurt. She hurt herself, and they cared more about the violins than they did <laughs> yeah. about her. They said it went into the ambulance, and yeah. she stayed behind. <laughs> yes, right. Exactly. I hope. I hope no like. Like thieves were like watching the show. They're gonna head right over to that apartment. Oh, listen, the, the guy, the guy, the guy has. If you go on to um, Apple, um, what do you call it? Apple Maps, and you zoom in on my apartment, the name of his business is in the building. So people know that that's in the building, you know. Uh, and he's got that really protected, you know, taken care yeah. of. That was a great story, though. I loved it. Yeah. I asked him how he sends these violins, you know, back to wherever they're going or whatever. And he says he gets in a plane and takes them sometimes. Because you can't you can't insure something over $30,000 when you're sending it by FedEx or by uh, UPS. Yeah. Um, you know. <laughs> so um, uh, he, on, on those large ticket items, he will actually physically go and take them. To the various cities that he's going to, or sometimes they will come and pick them up, you know. So it's, uh, but wow. Has he ever been stiffed for a repair? I don't know. I didn't sit there and ask him every question. <laughs> well, maybe that's how he got those stratum well, areas. How do you, you stiff? Know, they didn't pay. How do you stiff? They didn't pay for the repair. Yeah. How do you stiff somebody for a repair when they're holding your two million dollar violin? You know. The repair was three. Huh? <laughs> the repair was three million. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. I, I heard this. Um, I think it was on This American Life or something. There's a cello player, mm -hmm. and, and he had a very expensive cello. Oh, Yo Yo Ma. Orchestra. Yo Yo Ma. Yo Yo Ma. And, and I know they, buy, they buy a seat for their cello on they, the airplane. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, Yo Yo Ma though was the one I think who accidentally left his cello in the cab. It's ten thirty-three. Yeah, well, yeah, wow. yeah. When when I was in high school, I bought a 1960 MGA. Mm -hmm. And uh, I bought it from a guy in the Boston Symphony, and he played a cello, and he used to put the cello in the passenger seat of this MG uh, and uh, decided finally to get a bigger car. That's when I bought the MG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, so, so it, uh, you know, it, it was a thrill. I mean, but the, the big thrill was that my father, if he were still alive, would have loved to hear about it. You yeah. Know? And... Uh, that made me feel hey, sad. Yeah. One other thing about what you were talking about earlier. Yeah. Now, you were saying the DMV, you were waiting, and it was an awful thing, and they were bypassing your number. You know, um, universal health care will be very similar to that. Well, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's Not what you say way. now. Wait till you're in line with a number. <laughs> Alex, an hour was great. I had to wait four hours in line. To get my Texas license plate last Wednesday. Now you, but you couldn't. You couldn't. You make an appointment with them, and they say you could, but I went online, Google it, never. I never could find out how to make an appointment. Yeah, well, we did the appointment thing, and and it, and it worked for me. I was I was in and out of there, but my appointment's Monday. But, but they didn't call her, and that was the problem. Yeah, uh, my appointment and, for the same thing is Monday. Yeah, yeah. For the, yeah. what do you mean for the same thing? For the driver's license with the special uh, dot. Well, I didn't do it, it to get the special thing, although I got all my stuff together so I could get the special thing on. It was because my 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 uh, driver's license is expiring at, uh, on the 18th of December. So, 
I am having difficulty buying bullets without that uh, license. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. Really? Yeah. With, the new, with the new ID one? Yeah. Well, I don't have the real new ID, ID one yet. Yeah, it's called real ID. Yeah, I'm getting that money. Imagine a having a gun and not being able to buy any bullets. What? Well, I'm buying them you, on the black market. You know, eh, what a, what a, what a, <laughs> what a you shame. Make your own, Phil. It's uh, very hard. Make your own. I got enough hobbies. <laughs> no more. Yeah. I actually, I, I'd rather buy factory stuff. Yeah. Okay. My neighbor does that, and it looks like a royal pain in the ass. I think it is. What what, yeah. what is the royal we have to make our own shotgun. Shots. What what making your own bullets? Yeah. yeah. It's not that hard yeah. really. You just need the right machine. It's just time like, consuming. Just time cons it is. It yeah. takes like 30 <laughs> seconds per bullet. <laughs> 30 seconds yeah. per bullet. Wow. <laughs> yeah, and I I shoot yeah. on average 200 yeah. bullets a week. Really? How much do, how much does that cost you, Phil, really? in bullets? Uh, be, uh, between thirty and forty cents a round. Yeah. So you're talking, you know, eighty, a hundred dollars. Eighty or a hundred dollars, and you just do that by just shooting every week. Every week. You spend a hundred dollars a week on bullets, Phil. Yeah, Phil. <laughs> Start do, start doing marijuana or something. You know, spend your money on something worthwhile. Uh, it's it's cheaper than golf. It, it, it's cheaper than golf. Yeah. Yeah, and I get more satisfaction. By the way, Josh hasn't been with us for a while. Where you been, Josh? Oh, I've had to work uh, this week, and I've been working during the day. I've had to go in at six a.m. So. Yeah. You know, I've been off in the evening. That's would be a little late not getting to bed till after midnight, so Oh yeah. Yeah. I uh couldn't couldn't call too much. It's probably gonna be the same way next week. But I'm here tonight. Yeah. Don't have good. to work tomorrow. So great, we're here tonight. great great having you here. My feet are killing me today, by the like way. This week I, I've been taking What's that? I've been taking I've been taking this stuff for my neuropathy and it's supposed to help my feet, but it it seems my feet are worse the next day when I walk. It hurts more. If you mm. bought the rubs, it no, wouldn't I hurt. have you got, them. You didn't get the real you, thing. I have that one. I, are you using it? No, I'm using the roller one. Does it work? It looks like yes. a cat toy. Look, this thing, this thing. But it, Alex, but, it but, does but, get better. Huh? It does get better when the nerves completely die like mine. You never feel any pain. Oh, I see. All right. They just cut it off. <laughs> well, it's not that my nerves are dying. That's not the point. Uh, it's just that they make the bottom of my feet hurt. So the one I'm But that's walking, what the neuropathy is, is your nerves are dying and they're firing when there's no reason to fire. Oh, well, I, but I don't know that I have neuropathy. I, or, or that I have uh, well, peripheral neuropathy. I think what he felt that I had nerve. was radio something. There was something in my back that is causing this uh, to happen. It's not, you know, the kind. It's not diabetic neuropathy. Okay? Yeah, well, then there's no hope for you. It, the right. reason you're not diabetic so, uh, is so because I'm saying, you've been on a protein so diet maybe, and you're keeping your carbs low. Yeah, well, so good for me. Yeah. yeah, not that I want to make Charlie feel bad. Maybe you really are bad. diabetic, and you know you got the neuropathy, but you don't have the uh, high uh, 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 level of sugar. Uh, I asked so my doctor, "Am I diabetic?" He said, "No." Doctor Phil. Yeah. yeah. What? Yeah. Doctor Demento. Phil. The new Doctor Phil. Doctor <laughs> Vinnie Bombets. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Doctor Demento. Yeah, exactly. So anyway, so I, 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 my feet were just killing me today. I don't know why. And it, it seems to happen from taking this drug. After I take this drug, my feet hurt more the next day than they did. You know, they take care of it overnight. They don't. Uh, I, I don't have any foot pain. And then the next day, the f foot really hurts. So I, I had. To, Really was ha having a hard time walking today. Jeez, that's that's okay. Just wait two weeks. What? Just wait two weeks. Let me wait two weeks. It'll fall off. Oh, it'll fall <laughs> off. Okay. <laughs> no, I I would think I had diabetes, but I it I don't. I just don't. So anyway. I got the neuropathy before I had the diabetes. Really? Yeah. 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 I not only had a touch of the cancer, I had I have the neuropathy too. <laughs> oh, you have the you have neuropathy. Oh yeah. Why do you think I got the ball? 
I don't know, to replace your testicles? <laughs> uh, they're still there. It's They're hanging low, too, but uh, yeah. I got that. Yeah, yeah. No, I had one of those balls, but I like this thing because the trouble with the ball is if I'm sitting here and I'm trying to do it, it goes, I, somehow I lose it, you know, and then I have to go <laughs> find it and f follow it and stuff like that. See, and this is what we talk about, Kathleen, old people stuff. Uh, you'll get there. You knew me. Well, you I have no opathies yet. I don't, now, I, now, I was was I, was I much of a hypochondriac with you? Totally. Remember your um, horoscope I would read to you? Yeah. Me, me, me. I'd go, okay, here's my horoscope, blah, 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 blah. And then I'd go, let me read yours. Me, 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 my career. Do you think they're going to fire me? Do you think it's cancer? Me, me, me. Yeah. Do you think they're going to fire me? <laughs> cancer? No. Me, me. Me. And you like me anyway? Of course. Oh, see, see, this is all the shit that my wife won't put up with. You know, <laughs> this just bothers the shit out of her. Oh, be nice to her. Oh, I am nice to her. You know, very nice to her. It made good radio, though. What made I good? Bet. What made good radio? Oh, me you having all. Really talk about all that. Stuff. Yeah, I guess I always was a uh, hypochondriac. You know, but but as I've gotten older, it gets it's gotten worse. It's really gotten worse. But anyway, so I got this neuropathy, and it's it bothers me because if, you know, so let's say I want to go to some place like China, and I want to go walk a lot. I, I, I'm wondering if I can do it anymore, you know? But Will, will Marjorie push you? Don't they have wheelchairs? Oh, those, shut uh, the fuck up, will you? <laughs> <laughs> they just throw a blanket over you, kind of like FDR, you know? If I need a wet blanket, I'll just have you call the show, Okay. <laughs> But up, um, how about yeah. you? How about you, uh, Vernon? What's happening with your life? Oh, I'm just enjoying the the scene that's going on now in Washington. Mike Pence might be involved now, and Rick Perry oh, is going to resign because his involvement in the Ukraine scandal. I'm just enjoying the hell out of it. Yeah, yeah. It, they're all sweat. They're all sweating big beads of sweat. Do you realize that? Including oh, yeah. Hmm. Well, I mean, Biden's not Biden. sweating shit. There's Biden nothing ain't. wrong with Biden. Biden's not oh. sweating anything. And uh, oh yeah, he will be. And uh, Sanders had a heart attack. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think Sanders. I think Sanders is finished. I mean, yeah. not that he's going to die. I mean, he's finished because uh, you know I, America's not going to vote for somebody who has a heart condition like that. You know, well, well, Elizabeth would, Warren's taken a lot of his votes too. A lot of his support. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which is going to probably make her the front runner, you know, this week. President Warren. In one poll, it was. Yeah, yeah. Oh well, no. The 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 polls, Phil, say that uh, Warren can beat uh, Trump in a heartbeat. Hey, the polls said that Clinton could beat Trump in a heartbeat. Mm, the polls said that Clinton would win the election, and she he, she did. She no, got she more votes by three million votes than he did. Yeah. And they, they said he had no chance to get to 270. Who said that? I don't remember that. Every, every one of those polls and every no, one of the, the polls news weren't saying it. The po all the polls were saying the all the polls were reporting were raw numbers. Yeah, they were just reporting total numbers for the country. They weren't reporting individual states, which is oh, a of course, problem. yeah. Uh, spin that one, will you? A little more. Yeah, like 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 Trump. Seventy thousand votes. That's all he won by. If seventy thousand votes swung the other way, he would he wouldn't have been president. Well, if the king, if the queen had balls, she'd be king. I'm yeah. just saying. Talking about how the polls were wrong. They weren't wrong. Yeah, but the Hungarians were right. You know. Yeah. Oh, what's your son getting? He's getting his vitamin B12. Oh, really? I have my vitamin B12 right over here. Yeah. <laughs> vitamin oh, you want to hear something funny? What was the movie you were talking about? Oh, really? You were asking me if Mickey Rooney played. Oh, uh, Whiplash and Iron Man 2? <laughs> yeah, he goes, hey, Mom, remember Iron Man 2? Did Mickey Rooney play Whiplash? And I was like, Mickey Rooney? <laughs> <laughs> no. Mickey Rourke. Mickey Rooney's been dead a long time. Yeah, he, he, I think before Iron Man. And yeah. he's like this big. Yeah, yeah. Get your star straight. Yeah. Are you a Mickey Rooney fan? 
No, you know, he last summer he got hooked onto the old uh, Twilight Zone episodes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I was pointing out all the old stars. Yeah, yeah. All dead. A lot of Leonard. So I like that. You, so your son's interested in old stuff, right? Oh, absolutely. That's cool. Because I was awesome. too. When I was growing up, I was I was into all that old stuff. I yeah. don't know if it's cool. Look how you turned out, Alex. <laughs> I turned out pretty damn good. Yeah. 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 All right. You know, I mean, you know, I, look look at me. I'm talking. I'm talking to an ex girlfriend once in a while. Yeah. I have my ex wife on. I mean, it must be that I wasn't a terrible human being. How come they're all exes? Um, because that wasn't the nature of our relationship. Ah. You know? All right. I mean... Uh, I wasn't trying to be serious. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, you know, I mean, I, I just did. Uh, why, why do we? Why, we didn't stop really stop seeing each other, did we, Kathleen? We just stopped. Yeah, we were like best friends. We stopped dating each other. I think yeah, that's the exactly. way to put it. Yeah. Yeah. How, how do you come to a point where you stop dating and you still talk? Because you begin to realize that the value you of your relationship is more important that way. Yeah. Than the way you know you want to you know if let's say I married her, we probably would have started to hate each other. <laughs> you yeah. know, I don't mean, you get grief from the next one down the road that doesn't want uh, you know the uh, to have you have you have contact with the previous ones? Uh, I get that sometimes from Marjorie. Yeah, yeah, she sometimes is a little. Uh, uh, how can we put it? Uh, uh, she can get that way, you know. Yeah. Um, uh, hold on a second. Let me see here. I got to put in Darth Pat. Okay. Right. We Bigger got, screen. We, I got to go to, yeah, I got to go to the next screen here. Hold on a second, folks. Here we go. Let me, uh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Wait a minute. Yep. Yep. We're one, one short of, what, would that be a full house if I? Oh. No. 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 Not yet. Not yet. Seven, eight. You need two more for full house. Listen, at this point, this is a full house. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can change the rules. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, Patrick. Hola. Uh, hola. This is Patrick, uh, Kathleen, because Kathleen has met almost every. Well, she hasn't met Josh, and she hasn't met Vernon. Nope. So uh, that Ver, that's Vernon uh, there with the a uh, 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 player some uh, Morse code there. Nice. <laughs> yeah, and uh, and and Patrick will now um, uh, put some WD-40 on the wheels on his wheelchair. Okay, just so they know who he is. You got I, racing stripes on that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting fitted for a new one uh, next week. Are yeah. you, you're getting what? Fitted new chair next. Week. New chair next week. Are you getting? Uh, is there some kind of newer, higher tech? Chair, or is it just the same old chair? I better be the same fucking chair because it's the same type I've been using for 16 years. Yeah, and I have to think about taking it apart and putting it together. It just, you know, it in the ass. Yeah, I, I told you I have a friend with a, a chair and it goes upstairs. Uh, it's electric, you know, and it, it, it'll climb upstairs. It'll it'll do uh, amazing stuff. And how precise the uh, adjustments yeah, but, are. Yeah, but Patrick it doesn't want an electric chair or an electric wheelchair, uh, right, yeah. Patrick? Because you look, huh? I if I had money to to just piss away, I would get something like what uh, Phil was talking about. Uh, for vacations or going to, you know, other people's houses and shit with, you know, with stairs and that. But no, you're right. I, I I'm a manual wheelchair guy and will be until I can't do it anymore. So. Yeah, he also has a special van that you push a button and out comes a ramp, and then he goes up the ramp. And I think the chair is also his driver's seat. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, it's an amazing is that, thing. Is that you don't a, want a van either. Really? That you have that? What, no. I, what? Fuck no! I wouldn't get a van. He's uh, got a Chevy Malibu. Good, good. Yeah. Good luck if the battery goes on that fucking ramp and yeah. you're on it. Uh, I, I think I, the. I've seen that. 
And no, I I, I saw it at one time, and yeah. that was enough to convince me to stick with my car. The yeah. biggest problem is if you park in a handicapped space and then somebody pulls in in that little striped area uh, that shouldn't be there, and then you go back to get in your van or, or ramp and you can't get in the vehicle. Yeah. I have I have the same problem, though. I've, I've had idiots park in, in the uh, striped line, so. Yeah. But you know, don't you get in on the driver's side? Take them in the nuts. Yeah. Yeah. His van, he gets in on the opposite side. Yeah, well, how, uh, but then how do you, uh, can I, uh, this, uh, this got to be a hat trick for you, though. You've got the, you got the wheelchair, and then you got the car. So you then got to put the wheelchair in the car, right, Patrick? Yeah. Okay. You put the lime in the coconut. How do you pull <laughs> that one off? Alex, I, I, I'm sure I pointed you to this video before. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. on my Facebook page. If yeah. you go into my um, photo album, mm -hmm. the uh, uh, album called Videos, I believe, mm -hmm. and there's different ones of me with me standing and doing exercises, and then there's one with me putting a chair together. Oh, wait a minute. Your, your Facebook page. See, he's admitted he can stand. This whole thing's a hoax. What, what is, what, <laughs> if I go to, hey, to Facebook.com... What do I to go to after I do uh, 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 Facebook.com? Probably photos. No, no, I have to go to Patrick's page. What? What? Oh. What's the name of your page? Patrick? Patrick, Patrick you frozen? Are you, fro frozen? are you there, Patrick? He's frozen. I think we lost him. Yeah, he's frozen. Wow. That doesn't help. Yeah. This is Patrick Blazer. Huh? I've seen the video. Where do I go, Patrick? Do I go, Patrick Boise? Uh, I'm not sure. Let me look. No, wait a minute. Here, here, here comes Patrick again. Uh, okay, uh, Patrick, are you there? Here, here yeah. he is. Yeah. Okay. What What is your Facebook page? It's Patrick. It, it's Facebook.com forward slash what? I don't know. I, I'm Patrick Blazer. <laughs> I'll, I'll look. <laughs> well, yeah. well, wait a minute. I can just I'll, hold on a second. That's hold awesome. on a second. You uh, can search what, it. Patrick Blazik. Oh, uh, there's a lot of them. <laughs> no, there's only one Patrick Blazik. I know. And there he is. Okay, I'm on your page. Now the question is, oops, what is that? Oh, Tony Magno is calling. No, he was calling. Or did he? Is he here? Are you here, Pat? Uh, Pat uh, Tony, no. Tony. No, Tony isn't here. Huh. Okay, well, he'll try again later. Where? Well, let's see, where do we go now? Into photos or? Yeah. Oh, no, he's videos. Videos, he said. But, yeah, but it would be in the photo album and the album of videos. Oh, okay. okay photos, so, see you all. So, anyway, videos. Oh, there it is. Okay, I think that's it. I think that may be it. Okay, wait a minute. Hold on. Now here I can do something here, folks. Watch this. This will. This will just. There it is. He is, ladies and gentlemen. It's. Uh, you didn't do it, landscape. No, I. I had no. took it away. It had to be sitting in the um, cup holder and door. Okay. Well, let me uh, let me do this here. Hold well, on a music, second. There's music. Let, You've the, got to turn the music off. Uh, okay. Well, uh, let me see here. I don't think the music will play. I'm hoping not. Uh -huh. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Tony Magno is calling. Let me just get him on here. Uh, let me see here. Tony, Tony, uh, Tony, phony, phony, Tony. Let me cancel. What is there this? He's what is standing. This? There, go. Uh, there we go. There he is. Yep. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Uh, oh, yeah, I see. Uh, we got, we got, we got. Wait a minute. Where is, where is Tony Quisp? No, he's not here. He's not here. Are you there, Tony? Yes. Yeah, he, okay, he hold on a second. Guy. Hold on a second. Let me try again here. Sometimes if I open this up too early. Um, Tony, you got a light? Oh, uh, wait a minute. You're a little dark. I don't have I don't have Tony here. Where why why don't I have Tony here? Uh, Josh, scuba diver, Vernon Nunn, uh, Charles Wallace. Okay. Did you change the name on your thing, Tony, because you got a new computer? Oh, that's right. He changed it. That could be it. I could be Tony Quisp. Yeah, because I logged in with Skype Fresh. 
Well, it saved my contacts, actually. He's looking for Quisp. He couldn't find it. Didn't you have another one on the Surface Book? Yeah, what was it again? I forgot. Oh, now. all right. Oh, oh, wait a minute. I'm Webhead trying to look here. Is that is that is that Webhead? Yes, that's me. Okay. All right. Hey, how dare you change this stuff on me for crying out loud? I didn't realize why don't you it just took... sign in with the same one. Why do you need a bunch it of different... took my contacts. I don't know why. Okay. When oh, I logged oh, in, okay. I now, it. hold on a second. We got to go over here to uh let me see here. Ah, yeah, I put this on another thing here. Let me see if I can go to it, folks. There there that is. Okay. Here here is Tony and uh, Tony here is uh, Patrick uh, trying to get in his, there he, he goes, you're in the car. But how'd you get in there? I got That's the a, magic. There's a board that, that I used uh, like a bridge that goes between the seat on the wheelchair mm -hmm. and the car seat that I slide over. Well, I see. Okay. There, there you go. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Let me turn the sound down. <laughs> I can I can I can shut off the music here, yeah, uh, and, yeah. and and there he goes. Now he's gonna he, the wheelchair's outside now, it's right? You the, got that out of the out of the thing. I know no, you I'm, people can't see what I'm what I'm showing the audience, and here he goes. Uh, there there's the uh, wheelchair. He's been doing this for how many years now? Uh, Sixteen. Sixteen. How long is. Uh, you and Kathleen haven't seen each other. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. And 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 uh, let me. Uh, uh, you actually have to put the wheels on it. Yeah, um, I'm putting it together. I'm making an odd car. What is this? An IKEA uh, wheelchair? Okay. Okay. Now I want to see. It looks how you... so serious. <laughs> well, yeah. you would be too if you had to go through this whole process. Okay. And now are you gonna? Uh, now you got to put the wheels on it. Put everything together. I mean, everything. You, can't, you can't just fold this thing up and put it in like the. I guess you gotta, and you have to undo this every time you get into the car too. You have to take it apart. Yeah. Boy, it's shit. It's fucked to be you. God. I don't mind. I. I know. I, I well, it gives you it gives you something to do. That's for darn sure. You know. Um, I missed doing it when I couldn't do it for eight months because I had a scar on my foot. So. Yeah. Ah, okay, all right, and there he goes. Now he, we got he's okay. He's uh, you got to get the yeah, other. Yeah, I want to see on. the board. Huh? You know, how 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 you how you use the board to get across? Oh, you won't see that on this. Oh, oh. okay. So now the now the wheelchair looks like it's completely put together, right? Once you got the wheels on, you got it together, right? And you got to put the feet on the back, the feet. Oh, you, now you got to put the feet on the back. I gotta put the back on, and then I gotta put the feet on. And oh, the, and you, no! It looks like you got the whole thing done. I I might by now. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. I, uh, you've got oh, the no, seat and back is not. Uh, oh, there's the seat. Oh, there goes the seat in the back. He's putting that on. Okay, here we go. And now, and now comes the coup de gras on this whole thing is how you get in to the. You, you don't see that. Oh, 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 we don't get the payoff on this. We don't get the money shot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the way that I had to situate the camera, you would have never really seen me mm -hmm. because the camera was so close to the chair itself. So I just never even bothered transferring on that on video. So yeah. You ever think about putting a GoPro on the chair so you you know you get a POV view of uh, uh, of uh, where you go and you know. Okay, so then you put the brake on, and then how do you, are you gonna? Are we gonna see you get out of the car and into the thing, or just we're just no, I so. we're just watching you assemble it. Okay. Yeah, and so the answer to that is no, because my point of view is everybody's asshole. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can aim up. <laughs> I mean, there's some nice one that I get to see. But there's more bad than there is good. So. Well, you know, Alex and his uh, and Schmoody, uh, Kathleen, were bragging the other night how they were farting at each other <laughs> as they were walking up the stairs. So I, I never similar. farted at him. He farted at me. Well, that's because he's a gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't say I remember you ever giving out with a fart. 
Nope. Yeah. Do you fart? I'm sure I do. Oh, okay. All right. And I guess we've got, there it is. That's how to put together, folks, your goddamn wheelchair. Okay. Wow. Anyway, that's... Uh, it's usually only the first two weeks of, re of a relationship that nobody farts. Then, you know, all bets are off. And then all bets are <laughs> off. Exactly. Exactly. So, um, yeah. And well, uh, that, that, that's a little show and tell on tonight's program, folks. I hope you enjoyed that, yep. you know? Um, My yeah. son asked if the red guy was at the gym. Ray? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I am. He, he's very seldom at home when he calls the program. Yeah. That's true. Sometimes he I walks his dog. Way. One time I took a leak at San Francisco. Uh, San Francisco Against City the building? College. Yeah. 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 What, what's all, all, fun stuff. What's all that noise? Uh, I don't know. I think it's when the, my mic's been off for a while. The thing doesn't modulate. Let me turn off my mic. Just uh, let's see. If yeah. It, yeah. You got another play you're working on, Ray? Oh, now he muted himself. Yeah, I, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Uh, what I is it? Play. An actual... Yeah. Maybe I'll get my crap. Yeah. <laughs> Lost you. Yeah. All right. Tell us here. later what it is. Yeah. Yeah, I'm here now. The bad spot. Well, so we have oh, two. Cool. We have two gym rats on the show tonight. Kathleen's a gym rat. You're a gym rat. Uh, you're not Tony. You're not Charlie. Oh, I go to the gym. Uh, do you go to the gym? Yeah, I work. I try to work out twice a week. So I'm, really? I try to, yeah, I join Blink. I, I've well, always, show show always, us your guns. Oh, oh I, I belong to Blink too. We love Blink. Blink is fifteen bucks a month. Yeah, I was just gonna say fifteen dollars. Here's here, here's here. what happens. Girlfriend pays twenty, thirty, twenty two hundred dollars a year <laughs> for uh, what is the name of the gym now? All I know is the guy who owns it became a big story a couple of weeks back because it turns out he's a major Equinox. contributor, major contributor Equinox. to Trump. Oh, Trump, yeah. What, what, Equinox. What's Equinox, yeah. Equinox. And, and so I've got this gym down the street, fifteen bucks a, a month. It's got the cycles and it's got a you know it's got a locker room and it's got showers and, and clean. Wow. you know it's got all it's the nice. implements of of, of self-destruction and all those things right that you would want but then i go to hers Country and it's club. like the the doors part and heavenly sounds the choirs start singing you know they have classes i'm sure oh they have right. classes and you go in and they have uh, they have uh, shaving cream for you and uh, ra Owls. razor razors the, the I mean, disposable they, razors, I like. and uh, I don't know. I think they have chocolates. I don't know. It's just, it, and it's like three stories high, and wow. uh, uh, and I'm going, gee, this is amazing. But she's got to pay thirty, twenty two hundred dollars a year for the fucking thing. Yeah. My <laughs> son and I pay forty bucks a month, where twenty do, each. Where do you yeah, go? And our in Shape City, and it's the it's the big one in Tracy. So it's got indoor pool, outdoor pool, racquetball classes, everything. Yeah. Everything's cheaper in Tracy. It is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but you have your own pool. What do you need a pool for them to have a pool? Well, I wouldn't use their pool. I just go in and use the uh, weights. It, it, yeah, yeah. Okay. The weights and the machines. You still doing the weights and all of that? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, I just I'm just doing old scrunchy things, and I I don't know. I get on the bike, and to, and lately what I've been doing, except my feet are now killing me, is I was I'm walking today. I walked uh, almost uh, almost two miles. Uh, I decided to walk to the uh, DMV and back. Um, you know, and I find that walking, what I enjoy about walking, at least I see stuff as I'm going. You know, whereas with a indoor cycle you're just sitting there pedaling and going what the fuck am i doing this for not if you've got one of those pelotons you've got a, a, a view uh like you're uh you know cycling in a forest or... but we don't have pelotons at blink we're lucky <laughs> well, they we're... probably do at equinox huh <laughs> they, they, probably do they may have those at equinox i have to ask girlfriend about that you know uh, who knows you yeah. know Pro cyclists use the pelotons when they can't go outside. But didn't yeah. Peloton it costs have like three thousand bucks? Wasn't Peloton Plus forty dollars a month? Yeah, but wasn't Peloton yeah. in the middle of some kind of legal problem too? Like uh, they were I think so. they were using music illegally. Yeah, and they, and they were probably donating to Trump. 
Oh, oh, hey, by the way, by the way, let me read you a piece of mail I got today. This is really good. This is good. Remember the problem I was having the other night? Legally? Oh, yeah. I ran a video of, uh, of, oh, the, yeah, yeah, of, yeah. of the Ukrainian uh, president uh, yeah. playing a piano with his penis. Well, supposedly. It, well, really tasteful act. Um, I played it because, after all, isn't that what, what is comment, right? Mm -hmm. But there's a thing called fair usage. And that means that if you play something and it's in copyright, but you're doing it for the sake of discussion, that you can do it. So afterwards, I figured, hey, you know, I'm 79 years old. I got nothing to fucking do with my life except write letters to YouTube, right? <laughs> so I write a letter. I, I send in a, uh, a dispute that I feel I should be able to play it because it was, we had, it was part of a political discussion. Today I get this piece of email. Hi, Alex Bennett. Good news. After reviewing your dispute, uh, the uh, license holder has decided to release the copyright claim on your YouTube video. Well, they get a hold of the uh, uh, the the king of Ukraine. <laughs> well, the, no, this was like uh, who was it? Studly ninety five K Vartal. Who knows? And who he is. had rights. To I this? guess this person had the rights to Studley? it. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> Good old Studley. Uh, Studley, do right. Yeah. So, hey, if you got nothing to do, Alex, you can fight some of my battles. Listen, <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll, I'll tell just you. email you them. I'll tell you, you know, don't fuck around with old people. They have nothing to do with their day but make your life miserable. Yeah, yeah. Well, I should you live know. in Century Village. Then, then they gang up on you. So then they gang up on you. Yeah. yeah, well, down in Florida, the Century oh. Village. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't want to move to Florida. Please, if I move to Florida, somebody fucking shoot me, you know? So, <laughs> well, uh, Vernon, Bocci, well. Vernon, you seem to, how do you feel? Do you think uh, do you think Trump's in trouble? Yeah, I think so. The more he squeals, the, I think the worse uh, his predicament is getting. I think he should keep his mouth shut right now. I, I just think that the more that he... would be in his best interest, but you know he can't. Yeah, can't. yeah. I mean, he he's, he's got to go on the he, He's all but admitted to uh, trying to get foreign countries to act on his behalf to go against his political enemies. No, not all to but investigate crimes of corruption. Phil, Phil, yeah. Phil. Well, Phil. Thing, he's Phil. not looking for. When does this guy ever look for crimes of corruption? Come on. Says it's his job. Come on. You know, he's a guy know, who spent his entire you know who life uses that being. Line, Phil? Huh? You know who, uh, who uses Adolf the line Hitler? of investigating corruption? Yeah. Autocrats. Yep. Autocrats. That's how they suppress their their dissidents. Okay. They're mm -hmm. going after corruption. It's yeah. bullshit. Well, it's there's plenty screen. of corruption. He, he got it's elected to do that. He, but he's, yeah, one, no, no, no. he's one of the most corrupt no. human beings in America, for Christ's sake. Only if you listen to the people he's going after. Oh, no, just, no. Hey, no. When, he was, when he was in here in New York, he was a he, corrupt he, motherfucker. No, nah, he was a builder. Uh, you know, he just fit in. Yeah. He's a corrupt builder. I mean, He never paid anybody for their work. If you aren't corrupt, you don't hire Roy Cohn as your as your lawyer, okay? Hey, case you've, case you you hired lawyers named Mr. Turtle, and what did you do? You went in for Mr. <laughs> I'm going to kill you and rip your eyes out. No, no, lawyer, no, right? no. I had Mr. Turtle, and then I went out and got a lawyer named Mr. Reamer. I just felt it okay. was it was tactically <laughs> better. Roy Cohn, Reamer, same thing. You remember Reamer, don't you, Kathleen? I do, and wasn't his mom's last name Skinner? So wasn't no, it no. Skinner and Reamer? It was. It, well, the, no, he. She had a partner named Skinner. Yes. And and it was it was a divorce firm, and it was the divorce firm of Skinner and Reamer. Yeah. Now, come on, <laughs> you know, Roy. If I was going to hire an attorney, do you know that uh, I want Roy Cohn? Wait, wait a minute. Do you know? Uh, do you know Fred died? Yeah. Fred. Oh no, I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, he died. Yeah, I like him a lot. He was a he was a good guy. You know, I like do we I cheat him and how? Yeah, do we, do cheat, we him cheat him and how? Do we cheat him how? <laughs> yeah. Wasn't Reamer around ninety seven or something like that? You hired Reamer? Like See, I, 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 Reamer just kind of came into my life, and then he he just did stuff for me almost pro bono. You know, I never uh, I never used him for anything big, 
but uh, if I needed... He was a kind of a strange, sketchy character, though. Well, no, he wasn't really a sketchy character, but he did deal with sketchy people. Yeah. You know, I mean, he was a drug lawyer. Oh, wow. uh, Did you say you had Raymond. hired some high-priced lawyer when you had to negotiate a contract? Yeah, this was some guy down, and I'm trying to remember his name now, but he was and, down. And, at, and just the, his letterhead was enough to make these guys give up? Oh, yeah. Up? No, this guy was so such a great lawyer and had so much money. He owned the uh, Los Angeles Clippers. Okay. Oh, is that the guy that they made sell the team because uh, he no, was... No, no, no. Uh, uh, there was... Uh, the guy who owned the Clippers... Maybe later later, later on. Recent. Later yeah. on. But he was yeah. one of the owners of the Clippers when it first started. And uh, he was a major show business lawyer. And you just you just uh, said, well, they say, who's your lawyer? And you tell them and they go, we give up. <laughs> you know. <laughs> we, well, we, that's, we, that's why you want Roy Cohn. <laughs> no, Roy, lawyer, Roy Cohn didn't necessarily win. Roy Cohn was just, oh, what a piece of shit. You just break your arms. Yeah. <laughs> that works. That was the scariest man I've ever been in the presence of. I'm telling you. Just scary. Just, it, it, I, said so, I, I said something. Yeah, he died of AIDS. And died. Of, he also, to, the, to his deathbed, refused to admit he was gay. Okay. Well, maybe it was a transfusion. No. 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 Right he no, no, no. was fucking gay. Yeah. Uh, well, he was happy. I, yeah. yeah. I mean, it was like I, what I loved was Car what I loved was Cardinal Spellman, who from the pulpit would denounce being gay and then go down to the village uh, in in drag, uh, oh and they used to refer to him as Aunt Franny. Didn't they? I had Cardinal <laughs> Spellman one of the ones that is uh, uh, was wrapped up in this. Uh, uh, no. Uh, no. 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 I know there was a cardinal that uh, there were a lot of cardinals. No, no, but this, you know, with the uh, the child abuse thing. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't. Francis Spellman was dead by the time that whole thing started happening. Oh, that's been going on for years. But I'm sure he, I'm sure he was, you know, diddling young boys, you know. Mm. Uh, but anyway, um, um, no, I mean, as somebody said this, and I, I said I've been saying the same thing for years, and I saw somebody in an interview, and he said I never knew what the what Satan looked like till I looked into the eyes of Roy Cohn. And I felt exactly that way. It was scary. They were dead. They were dead eyes. They were and just... I want him as a lawyer. <laughs> you yeah. know, when you're going after somebody, well, he's, you, he's the one you that, want the devil. He's the one that taught uh, Trump never admit you're wrong and never admit you did something. Just deny it completely. Even if they Clinton if they the catch you with the knife in your hand and the dead body by your side, you still say I didn't do it. Yeah, you know. He ran into the knife seventeen times backwards. Yes, exactly. Exactly. You know, hey, if if uh, if one of my girlfriends caught me with another girl, and I was with you once when that happened, mm -hmm. uh, the uh, you know I just say no, no, I wasn't here. <laughs> you know, I'm not it's, here. That's not me. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. It's you. uh, right. One night. You, me, uh, the girl I was with, your ex-wife Susan and Joe Rogelski were at a comedy thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, somebody saw me there and I was with this other girl. So they called my girlfriend, who we were kind of on the outs with, and she showed up. And I said, I, I, no, I want, you, I want to introduce you to Joe Rogelski's girlfriend. And that's... <laughs> and I think that's how we played it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, yeah. how did the how did that woman feel about it though? She must have felt she like slept shit. Slept with me that night. Really, you went out with some pretty stupid women, didn't you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but she had big tits. <laughs> you would have never put up with that, right, Schmooty? Nope. No, nope. no, she wouldn't have put up. No, 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 she's with Joe Rigelski. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, you know what I'm not used to with you, Kathleen, is is the glasses because I don't think you wore glasses when I nope. knew you. Yeah. Just for reading, right? Yeah. 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 I went down to the, uh, I went to, I didn't have to take the eye test at the DMV because I got my uh, ophthalmologist to fill out a form saying what my eyesight was. And so I didn't have to do that. So anyway, so we, we're, we're getting our new licenses. Isn't that wonderful? I, I, I was thinking of it in a very depressing way because you get new licenses every 10 years. Oh, I no. figure this is the last license. 
Hey, I have a problem. I'm going to have a problem on Monday. Uh, they said you need a social security card mm -hmm. or something, I guess, with your social security number on it. Yeah. I haven't had a card in my possession, I don't know, in 60 years. Uh, you know, Most people I, I just remember the number and they don't have the card. Yeah. yeah. So when I go down on Monday, I don't have <laughs> look, look, at, Or that's line. what happens to them. Look at, look at Charlie. That's what happens to them. Oh, yeah. That's my original Social Security oh, card, 1967. Oh, my God. Wow. I, I burned my draft card. And uh, luckily, it was right after the draft was over. Well, Marjor <laughs> was Marjorie like, laminates so hers, but she, you're not supposed to. No? No, they don't like that. But why didn't they? You know, it, it, by the way, what is Ray still there? Ray? Uh, no, he's got his model picture up. Ray, are you there? I'm here. I'm here. I'm oh, here. I'm oh, okay. Here. I just, well, I just because this camera. Off. No, it's because we've got the camera. Skype. I'm at home. I'm at home, and I'm walking around. And oh, okay. Oh. There we go. I didn't want to screw up the picture. Oh, oh okay. I'll put some underwear on. Anyway, um, um, <laughs> the uh, why they never make those? Why they still make those things? Because I, I just got a, mine replaced because I couldn't find it, and then I found it. But they sent me another one. Why they? Why they're still paper? Is beyond yeah. me. I mean, why aren't they a plastic card? Everything else is a plastic. Because it's the government, and yeah. and these are the same people that are going to give you universal health care. You know. Oh, I'm not even doing <laughs> Medicare for fifty years. Phil, give me a Phil, I have universal health care. Basically, so I have so I. I have Medicare. Okay. Yeah. Too. Uh, and you have Medicare yeah, too? Better than any uh, health insurance. Uh, um, uh, any insurance uh, are are you, are you right? wanting for medical help? No, I got the same Kaiser deal I had before. It, yes, exactly. There. You still have what what uh, Bubbles once said at Kaiser is doctor assisted suicide. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When they did the prostatectomy, uh, they used they used a hatchet. Yeah. Yeah. They used a, <laughs> and a drill said, bit. Don't they have a robot that does that? Yeah. Do, uh, and a this drill is bit. our robot. Yeah. And an old coat hanger. We got yeah. you. Yeah. Well, this, yeah. And no. I didn't even need an abortion. <laughs> yeah, right, right. No, but all I'm saying is is that what you're complaining about, what you're making jokes about is the very thing you already have and that I, I have it, and that I'm very happy with. But I, 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 am too. I, I, I would rather I have to wait go where if I want and have my insurance paid for. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Charlie, let's do some testimonials here. Excuse me, Kathleen, you can't chime in on this because you don't have Medicare yet. Wait 10 years. No. <laughs> uh, but let the old farts here. Uh, uh, yeah. Char Charlie, how good's Medicare? It is fantastic. It is fucking fantastic. Yeah, except for the 20% you have to pay out, and then you have to get some yeah, kind of I don't supplemental. Have to pay that. Well, you don't. What? No, the state of Texas, because I worked for them for 27 years, they paid a 20%. Oh, wow. Okay, so you got to. Again, on the government dole. Okay. Yes, sir. Vernon? Medicare, how good I, is it? Uh, I've had Medicare for five years now, and most of the time um, I don't get any medical bills because we also have a supplement. My wife worked for the federal government and has federal Blue Cross Blue Shield as a secondary insurance, mm -hmm. so they pick up the 20% that yep. Medicare doesn't cover. And Alex, you thought your secondary was good. Well, my secondary is very good, but my wife's employers pay for it. So we don't pay for it. Uh, there's still, you know, there's still occasionally there's the, uh, and I, I get this every now and then, uh, bills that, you know, the, what do you call it, the copay or whatever. Yeah. But outside of that, you know, and usually it's like 17 bucks or something like that. So, Phil, you know, for all you say about how horrible Medicare is, these how people, the government is at doing programs. Wait a minute. I had to wait longer when I was on Blue Cross Blue Shield than I ever had to wait on Medicare. That's because you're an angry person. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 <laughs> That's what made me angry. Do you have your I hand have up, uh, Ray? Yeah, I just want to say I got to go for a while. I might come back if I can. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, let's see. Right. What are we going to do about that space? Uh, okay. I don't want to waste uh, Leave his picture there. We'll just leave your frozen picture there. What the hell? If you want to come back, <laughs> it'll be there. Yeah, and yeah, then hang yes. up. Hang up like that. Yeah. Hang up now like hang up. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Terrific. <laughs> I don't know if you people can see what I see, but he did it perfectly. He did. Yeah. Yeah. We'll we'll see it in a second. <laughs> he did a freeze frame. 
Anyway, where was I? Um, no, so I mean, so for all your making jokes about it, it's it's really quite terrific. And if everybody in America had it, it would be terrific for them too. Once know? everybody in America had it, then you wouldn't be able to be so terrific because there wouldn't you. It'd be like going to the DMV again if you had no. everybody. Having it Phil, instead of just the people Phil, over sixty-five, get used to the line. Everybody so over the age of sixty-five to, has it, Phil. Yeah, I, over the sixty-five, but they'll give you a paper number. Phil, so there's, you'll, you'll there, have a there's piece nothing of paper that again. Medicare Phil, has. That is ridiculous. That is not true. They don't you have paper numbers. Two hundred, or you plan. can't put. There's and Charlie. Phil, you Phil, can't Phil, put Phil, twenty-five million people Phil, you, on Medicare. Wait a minute, Phil, Phil, you, and they all live longer than we do. Every country that has universal health care, people live longer than we do. Charlie, 325 million people in this country. You're going to put them all on Medicare, and then well, you know, VA can cover some your of them. service at, at 65. You're going to be in the same dumper as uh, as the DMV people. Well, the VA is going to cover some of them, Phil. Yeah, and uh, you know, as long as Trump is in there. But uh, the VA won't uh, do. They hadn't done a very good job up until now. He didn't do shit for them, Phil. Yeah, that's he didn't do anything. Trump so. hasn't done anything about VA problems. Yeah, he he said if you don't get your appointment within two weeks, you go to any doctor you want, and we'll pay for it. Well. That's universal health care. If I don't never heard of it. Uh, no, that yeah. VA, that's the yeah. seven hundred billion dollars that you don't like what Trump is spending on the military. Well, Trump no, is no, taking no, no. money That's from the VA. That's not the military. That's wall. not military spending. VA Those... is not counted as military spending, Phil. No, it's not. Charlie, the, the wall is shuffle-ready jobs. He's just doing Obama's work. Uh, the whole the whole wall idea is shovel-ready. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's it's why a... he's got so many Mexicans working on it because they're going to pay for it. Yeah, they're going to pay for it. <laughs> no, he, he's not going to pay. He'll. He, they're going to build it. But you just told me that Trump doesn't pay anybody. So I guess if the Mexicans build it and he doesn't pay them, the Mexicans are going to pay for the wall. <laughs> yeah, but the Mexicans in the U.S. Uh, only when they were standing on this side of the wall. He said Mexico was going to pay for it. Ah, hey, Mexico. tomato, tomato. Uh, by the way, by the way, this is interesting. A little piece of news came in this evening. A second intelligence official who was alarmed by President Trump's dealings with the Ukraine, is weighing whether to file his own formal whistleblower complaint and testify to Congress, according to two people briefed by in the matter. Uh, the official has a more direct information about the events than the first whistleblower, who's, com uh, who's complained that Mr. Trump was using his power to get the Ukraine to investigate his political rivals, touched off an impeachment inquiry. The second official is among those interviewed by the intelligence community inspector general to corroborate the allegations of the original web whistleblower, one of the people said. So uh, we just had that come in tonight. Just another accusation, unfounded and, and well, yeah, without yeah. due there's, process. There's, yeah. there's a corroborated, unfounded accusation. That's what we want. Uh, well, corroborated. Who's he to corroborate it? Corroborate. Corroborate. <laughs> corroborated, Phil. Josh, what do you think? You know, I think you and I were the, were the two people sitting here going, I don't think they're ever going to get Trump. Uh, they're going to impeach Trump or they're going to be able to get him. What do you think now? Yeah, I was not really in favor of impeachment um, prior to, you know, what began to happen because it just, I mean, I felt like it was close and, you know, he might have, you know, gotten away with a lot of things on technicalities, if you will, and I didn't think impeachment was the right way to go, but, you know, listen, in my opinion, the developments of the last, you know, what's it been, 10, 12 days or whatever, I mean, I, I think that's where it has to go. And I think that's where it's going to go. I mean, I, I think there's no doubt that there's going to be a vote for an impeachment, and then it's gonna, uh, it's it's gonna be in the affirmative. I mean, I think we're gonna reach the point where, you know, we have to have a trial. And I, I think that's the right thing to do. And, you know, I was just talking to Patrick about this. I mean, my reasons for this are not political. I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm not enjoying this process 
despite the fact that, you know, I can't stand the man. I mean, this is not good. My reasons are not, you know, political. I'm not going to take joy in the fact that, you know, he's probably going to have caused his own demise. I mean, my reasons for this are they're constitutional. I mean, it's about time that one of the branches of government that has abdicated power for an incredibly long time in this country begins to take some of it back, take some responsibility. I mean, they these are the kinds of things, abuses of power, that, that they just can't let go, or it's going to allow presidents in the future to get away with, I mean, damn near anything. If this is not an egregious abuse of power, uh, you know, that warrants an impeachment, then, you know, I don't, I don't know what is. I mean, you know, we're, we're just, we're in our in dangerous ground. I mean, you've got a lot of people that, you know, five years ago, even three years ago, you know, would have never allowed these kind of things to go on. And now all of a sudden they're either in one of two camps. Well, the president can't be charged with a crime. Okay. So you can't impeach him for any of that kind of garbage. Oh, and this doesn't warrant. So, I mean, they're just, we're going to end up with a king here before long, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's it's time to pump the brakes on this bullshit. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think... I, 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 I think that's where it's going. Yeah, I, it's gonna I, happen. I, I think I agree. You know, I it's that you and I were kind of like, and Charlie will agree with us because he kind of think was a little bothered by it at times. You and I were both kind of on the side of, uh, well, impeachment it, at this point, it's out of the question... Uh, you know, yeah. let's not go down that road. Uh, right. Let's let's make the way to impeach him is to get him not reelected. You know, and yeah. now yeah. And I, 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 I'm I'm I'm, I'm in the camp of let's nail this motherfucker because he really thinks he can get away with this. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I mean, he yeah, I was not. Call, what was it? Two days after Mueller testified, he figured he got away yeah. with it before. He's going to get away with it now. Two days after Mueller testified, he's he's riding the, the Ukrainian right. president. What he does yeah, is, I mean, I was. Yeah, yes, Josh. Yeah, you know, I was just saying. You know, I was not in in favor of that before. I think that the Mueller issue. You know, I think he did a lot of bad stuff, and, and I think he got away with a lot of stuff. But the thing about the Mueller deal was, mm -hmm. you know, it was very confusing. You know, it was very long. There was, you know, there was just shit tons of information there. It was very hard to decipher. I guess what I'm saying is I like the fact that they have a single issue, you know, kind of a single act. I mean, there's some other things wrapped up in it. But, you know, if the Mueller report was this big, you know, mm -hmm. Or, or that situation was this big. I think this this here is this big, which yeah. means people can understand it. People can see it, and you can pick a side yeah. and and go, you know, have the argument and go with it. Phil has his hand up. All right. Uh, Representative Jordan from Ohio uh, was on the committee today, uh, yesterday, that heard from Volcker, and his take is that uh, Volcker did not give the Democrats what they wanted, and it was the same empty hole as the Mueller report. As, You're and, reading as, this, aren't you, Phil? Hmm? No, no, I'm not reading uh, it. Uh, uh, it, it it's, it's the same. I, you know, I saw it on the news. It's the same empty hole. The other thing is... Okay, my, my, my response to that would be, what did you expect a guy like Jim Jordan, of all people, to say? The, same. <laughs> the truth. <laughs> you know, I mean, I, 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 mean, I don't know... Okay, let's get the distaff position on all of this, Kathleen. Well, for the most part, I really don't talk about politics, but, you know, what we do in life catches up with us. Yeah, yeah. That's about all I'm going to say. Yeah. Be, uh, uh, I mean, do you have an opinion either way on this, uh, on this whole impeachment deal? I mean, do you think that uh, it looks, it smells like he did something wrong? I have no idea. Okay, fair enough. Yes, I wanted to complete the statement. Uh, it, it seems as though uh, they had the information on this before, uh, and they were talking about impeachment. I think this whole thing was a setup uh, by uh, uh, the uh, committee that's uh, that's doing this by Nadler, and uh, they they this is a setup. It's similar to the stink 
that came from the Kavanaugh hearings when Avenatti marched these uh, women up in front of there that had nothing to do with it. This this whole thing smells from stink. And I don't think that there's one ounce of truth mm -hmm. to it. And I think what they're doing is the same Trump thing they did it. in Kavanaugh. Yeah. Uh, uh, Ver Vernon's, Vernon's got his hand up. Trump didn't admit to doing a okay. crime. Okay. Vernon's got his hand he, up. It would be it, it, it would be nice if be nice if we could all get away from our confirmation bias. That's what's going on right here. Phil has his confirmation bias. He sees what he wants to hear. This stuff that he's talking about are the Republican talking points, which, by the way, they also sent to the Democrats. They also sent the same talking points to the Democrats, saying that the committee knew about this whistleblower before his complaint was ever filed, That's which right. is bullshit. The whistleblower did not know what to do, so he contacted part of the staff of the uh, Intelligence Committee saying, I've I've witnessed something. I don't know what to do. The guy they are the ones who told let, him. Let, 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 they're the ones who told him to go to the IG, go to the Inspector General, go about the process in the proper way. That's all they told him. This is the well-written report. This is the concise, best-written report they'd ever seen. They were the ones that not only got this guy to stand up and do this, but they also got him an attorney. This is stinks from the Kavanaugh hearings. This stinks from Blasey Ford. This is another uh, Democratic attempt at overthrowing a, 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 I mean, an election uh, that was duly won. That's all this is. Well, what? And those just, guys are going to go down. That, that that's, I mean, that's a baseless charge because the, the Democrats don't have anything to do with this. I mean, Charlie is right in the sense that Trump is openly, you know, admitting the fact that he did and said what is in the complaint. He still continues to do it, and and I know that your argument is well, he didn't admit to a crime, and I'm just saying. I don't care. He doesn't have to commit a crime to be impeached. He says it's I mean, an abuse of power is not against the law per se, but he can still be impeached for it. I mean, impeachment is a political process at the end of the day, and a president can be impeached for not committing a crime. And there, you're only going to find a handful of people in the United States that won't agree with that. Okay. One of them might be Alan Dershowitz, but I would just remind you that Alan Dershowitz is a Fucking idiot! He's a moron. You know, yes. and, and I mean, uh, I mean, he's going to be. I mean, you know, they try when to he stop the Char Charlie, 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 Three governments, China, Australia, and the Ukraine. He admitted asking them for help well, against he's investigating corruption, corruption. And that, that he's allowed that to is do. A crime. Uh, no, it's not a crime to yeah. investigate corruption. And, 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 and I'm like, yeah, that's like the guy, that's like the guy, Phil, who, that's like the guy, Phil, uh, who uh, hired a hooker and then said that he was just uh, doing a paper on uh on uh, uh, prostitution. He was investigating prostitution. This whole nonsense about how he was trying to stop corruption is utter bullshit. And yeah. does it matter if he's trying to ask the foreign government for help? Yeah, I mean, I think, but that, that, that was my point before, you know, with Charlie. I mean, I, I agree that that action does likely constitute a crime, but... The important thing to remember, though, is we don't need to get all mucked up in all that garbage. This is not a criminal trial. We don't have to go to a grand jury. We don't have to get an indictment. We're not we're not uh, held to, you know, the rules of evidence. We're not going to argue. I mean, impeachment is that is not what impeachment is. Impeachment is whatever the Congress, whatever the United States House of Representatives decides that it's going to be at that given time based on those circumstances and and the fallback for that you know what keeps the congress from impeaching a president for you know wearing you know fucking white after labor day is the fact that no more than two years from any given day that they decided to do it each and every one of them can be removed from office in their own right by the voters let me go to I mean, the that's 
Let me, process. Let me go to the person with uh, good sense here. Let's go to Patrick Blazik. Patrick, what do you think? Oh. Wait a minute. Hold, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Uh, uh, hey, uh, uh, Tony. Tony. Tony, mute. When yeah. you go away, mute, because there was a lot of noise going on. Oh, I'm out sorry. There. She yeah. drug me now. I know your mother's driving you nuts, but just, you know. It's payback for what you do to us. Can yeah. we mute yeah. him by ourselves here? Yeah. yeah. yeah we actually could. We actually could. Uh, but then he wouldn't know how to unmute himself. So it's it's terrible. Well, that's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> a a anyway, um, uh, uh, Patrick, what, what do you what do you think about all this? Because you're, you're kind of, you know. I was... think a little too late. As I said to Josh earlier, um you know, I, we're about a year away from the election, and this process is going to drag out, and he's not going to end up being removed from office. And frankly, because of that particular issue, he's going to look like a wounded animal to the base, and it will galvanize the base to get behind him even more because he's just a wounded animal. He's not thrown out of office. And that is where I think the Democrats, they shot their wad in the wrong direction, playing with the Mullins <laughs> that a year ago or two years ago, mm -hmm. if they're so sure about impeachment, and like Josh said, it doesn't need to be a crime, they could have found some other shit to start impeachment if for no other reason it it could have embarrassed him and there would be a two year distance then between yeah. then and the election All right. yeah. could think you know maybe this isn't the guy for me now but right now because it's Really, less than a year that people are going to make a decision. Um, I don't think it, it's going to matter. I, I, I really don't. I think it. Mm -hmm. I think the Democrats shot their load too soon, and it's going to get them elected. Vernon, them Vernon, elected. Vernon has I, his hand up. Vernon, two two points. You're yeah. forgetting one thing, Patrick. The Democrats were not in charge of the House of Representatives two years ago, and number two, the the the. Mueller report and all that, the Mueller investigation didn't start under Democrats. It started under Republicans. Yeah. Well, now, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me also bring up one other thing, Patrick, and I want to see what you feel about this, is that some people are saying, well, you know, what you're saying is true. I mean, the election is about a year away. Um, you know, that's probably the referendum that should be used to boot this guy from office, all right? But we're not using it as a method of getting him out of office, but of saying, we're sorry, no matter what your excuse is, you can't get away with this kind of shit. You know, that this is not acceptable behavior for any president of the United States to engage in. And for us to say, well, we got a year left and not and let him kind of skate on it is not really the best idea. You know, that it, it you get what I'm saying? You know, that we can't. No, it, no, no. Saying skate, and I just want to go back to Vernon first. <laughs> my point was, you're right. The Republicans were in charge, but Pelosi and the gang, they had mouths that were loud enough. I mean, we had to hear them all the time anyway. They could have started yapping about impeachment just to start the ball rolling. I think they did. Got it would have been it would have been pointless though. It would have been pointless if you're not in charge. Yeah, but to start that. But if you start putting doubt in the minds of people by saying that, by the time they got in power, it would have a better effect. That I'm just looking at it from that aspect. I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure they would have won in 2018 if they had done what you're saying they should have done, Patrick. They would not have probably taken over the House of Representatives. And the other thing I wanted to say on that on that regard was the, you know, the, the House of Representatives has been, they're, they're not overjoyed. I mean, Nancy Pelosi is not excited. She's not happy. She's not 
throwing parties about the fact that that they're starting an inquiry about impeaching the president. She's very sad about that. And I am too, quite honestly. But it has to be done because he's not above the law. Nobody is above the law, including Donald fucking Trump. She's the only one that's not happy because she lost control of the party. She lost control of the House. So, I mean, she was forced into this, and I think she wanted to wait as well. And, you know, now here she is, and I'm sure she has explained to the young kid, the squad or whatever they're called, that if this goes nowhere, we're fucked. Because if, if Trump gets reelected because we're playing footsie here, yeah, well, I disagree with that premise that this is going to excite Trump's base. It wasn't Trump's base that got him elected in 2016. It wasn't Trump's base. It was people who crossed over from the Democrats to the Republicans that got Trump elected. It was independents that got Trump elected. And those people are not going to follow him down this rat hole. I don't know. I, I, think, I, I think there's enough doubt because it, it's going to be such a short period that, and it, and the thing is, for somebody like me, I want a crime. I don't want some... He's admitted the crimes. Easy there. Just chill out, Charlie. You're going to have a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> Lose another foot. Buddies, right? Mm. We're buddies. It's cool. Just, just relax. He has admitted the crimes. Well, well, wait a minute, Phil. You give us you give us obstruction okay. of justice is a crime. The Mueller report has okay. ten different instances well, of him committing obstruction of justice. Those are crimes. I mean, Phil gave us a look like, ooh, you know. And I don't. What is that supposed to mean, Phil? I mean, I mean, uh, it means the Mueller report had nothing. He's not been indicted. <laughs> He, uh, he he can't be indicted. How can you obstruct? How could you obstruct? He can't be indicted, Phil. Obstruct? Phil, he cannot. The president of the United States. I guess you're not familiar with it, but a president of the United States cannot be indicted. Look, they said he didn't no, collude. No. So how can no, you obstruct what you didn't no, do? They never said that. They never said that. They never said, said that. that. They they said never said that. No, they, they never say said that. that. They never no, they wrote me, it in the report. Find, find me no, where it says it in the collusion. Find the, they never used re, the word. Re, read right? it to me. There is no collusion anywhere in the Mueller report. No, no Phil, 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 go find it. Okay, go find it. I don't have to find it. It's no, not no, in there. Yes, you do, because you just said it isn't in there. So, uh, 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 they, uh, no, he they, they, they he didn't, didn't do it. Huh? He didn't do what they, they didn't said. say. They, they didn't say the there was collusion. They never said there was no collusion. But at the end of the day, long, I mean, that's what, uh, Schiff said, "Hey, I've got the Mueller report. I, you know, when the Mueller report comes out, it is going to prove that he colluded. It proved that he had committed obstruction of justice ten times, at least ten times. Well, uh, well, the prosecutor didn't." Uh, uh, At this point, because it doesn't matter. Because of an OLC memo, I mean, of an OLC memo they chose That's not to limit. indict. So therefore, he didn't break the law because uh, he, no, couldn't, no, he couldn't no. break the law if he couldn't If he, if he shot him, Pelosi in Article the head, two of the Constitution, unlike what Trump thinks, Article 2 of the Constitution does not tell Donald J. Trump that he can do whatever the fuck he wants. Well, he can in New Jersey. Uh, but at this point, it does not make any difference what was in or was what not in. The this is not about the Mueller report. Exactly. The last 90 seconds of all that arguing is, is not – That's it doesn't matter. It, this is not about that. And and I'm not – I'm personally not concerned that an impeachment will, you know, energize his base for two reasons. One, because I don't care because it's not about – winning the next election for anyone in this country it is about putting the vehicles of our government back in the lanes that they belong in and doing it as quickly as possible and number two if impeachment is going to energize trump's base if, if you believe that if i were to concede that point wholeheartedly isn't it not fair to argue that it is also just as equally, if not more, going to energize the base of the Democratic Party? I, I mean, you know, 
I mean, that's a it's that's a wash to me. I, I don't really know what that would. The Democrats you know, don't come out and vote. So you'll be you'll be more enthusiastic when you vote for him next time. You'll be more excited. It, you, it still counts as still one fucking one vote. vote. <laughs> nobody nobody will sit at home. You know, uh, how much did that's he fun. raise that's since great. since this impeachment inquiry thing? How much has he raised in the last three or four days? I think it was fifteen million dollars. The guy is so raising what? money like it's so going out what? of style with small donations. What that tells you is it's energizing his who, base. Who do you? That's it, where, where are you getting your information from? Trump, the biggest he fucking liar in America. Small hey, I, I get the information from CBSN. He's yes, raising, he's raised a great deal of money in the last few weeks, as days. you said, yeah. because it will energize his people. That again, that's fine. The Democratic presidential candidates in in whole are, are also raising large amounts of money, all of which will eventually mm -hmm. get funneled to the nominee in one yeah. way or the other, uh, or at least most of it will. So, again, I'm just saying that, that that's a wash. If it I, I, energizes I, I, yeah. everybody's base and everybody in this country votes in this next election because of that, that is a byproduct that I can more than live with. I don't have a problem with I'm that. I'm wondering. I'm wondering. I'm wondering how well. Will you be able how well, to live okay, with Phil, him Phil, winning? Phil, enough. So. He's not good. If uh, that's what happens, then that's what happens. Democrats won't stay home now. They stayed it's, home that's, in 2016. I mean, they always yeah, stay But home. but <laughs> at this home. point in the game, that is a, a hypothetical question because. Him being eligible to run is not necessarily a given at this point. We are only see, several see, days it, it, into this yeah. uh, investigation, and it the evidence is not looking good. Kathleen, this has Due been the, the, Kathleen. This has been the circus I've been running, and I feel like the lion tamer, and I've got to keep everybody on their on their pedestals, you know. And then, okay, come off your pedestal and run around, Phil. Okay, now get off your pedestal, Charlie. <laughs> run around. It's. And, yeah. and and I'm for the I'm for the process, you know, Phil. I think you know that. I'm very yeah. fair. I'm going to call it like I see it. That's fine. I, I don't have a problem with that at all. This is the process. It's an inquiry. There hasn't been a vote yet. Then there will be a vote. And if we're going to have a trial, then that's perfect. That's that is due process. What can be more due process and fair? And by the way, than, by the way, uh, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but a, a few Republican senators. Are starting to crack. Mitt okay, mm -hmm. they're starting. What? What? Not just Mitt, Mitt Romney. Romney. There's another one now. Another couple. Ron of Johnson. Guys. Ron Johnson, and uh, Mitch McConnell has said he doesn't feel comfortable with the president's position on this Ukrainian thing. You know, yeah, so well, so the cracks in the wall in the Republican yeah. wall are there, and they're beginning to say. Do we really want to throw ourselves in with Trump, or do we want to keep a safe distance now? You know, yeah. they got and, when that, and when that him. happens, it's all over for Trump. They yeah. got nobody uh, to replace him with. That's right. And, and uh, you know, uh, it's easy to question when you don't have to vote. Now, what Trump is saying is he's saying to the Democrats, "Well, you know what? Why don't you hold a vote in the Congress and have a formal?" impeachment inquiry instead of this uh it's circus it's all smoke screen it's yeah, all this smoke is a screen. circus this, this, all this is, it's all it's bullshit here we go it's, a vote is not required okay. in order to have an impeachment inquiry uh okay my head's gonna my head's gonna explode any minute now well yeah. that's that's all fine and dandy but my point is going to be that I'm fine with him saying that, and there will be a vote. But I think you know as well as I do that the way the, the tribal politics is working in America right now, and I don't think you're doing anything to help that case is, is if they don't have a vote right away and they take their time and they go through due process, as you said three minutes ago, you're, 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 up, you're, you're upset. But if they go real fast and they have a vote tomorrow, you're going to be upset and you're going to say, well, they just fucking rushed to no, judgment. No, because, and they've already that's not true. That's horseshit. Let, let, I mean, let me tell you something, you Josh. Let me tell you something. What happens is if they have the vote, then the Republicans can, can subpoena and they can call witnesses as well. Right now, this is a one-sided uh, 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 travesty of justice, and there is no well, justice. Well, Phil, even, because, even, even people like Fox are starting to... Give yeah. up Fox the ghost. Is, Fox is an entertainment network. What 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 kind of credence? Well, well, do you put, well, 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 you put credence in well, Fox you, now. You 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 put credence in Fox a while back. 
Well, Republicans aren't going to issue subpoenas because Republicans aren't in charge of the yeah, House. They can. They're not they going to issue, issue subpoenas if there's no, a formal vote and inquiry. No, they can't. No, they can't. Well, no, I don't that. Where's Republicans that? Republicans cannot issue subpoenas unless okay, they're Supreme in Court Justice Vernon. Uh, you know, not a bad well, idea. The, the, not a bad idea. The, I think I Josh. I volunteer. Josh? <laughs> I volunteer to take Brett Kavanaugh's place. Yeah, but I, I think I think I think you try to kiss me in high school. My daughter, my daughter has I, a bumper I think, sticker I, I, in her car I, that I, says, "My cat is smarter I, than the president." I think I think uh, maybe <laughs> we uh, maybe we should get Kathleen to replace uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. I think that might be. Uh, uh, oh. The seat's too small. Uh, I mean, the, <laughs> I'm strictly by the book. Huh? The, the the opposition party controls the House and, you know, will draft the articles of impeachment. The, the trial will be held in the Senate where his party is in control. The chief justice of the United States, re appointed by a president of his political party, will oversee the process. Uh, to me, two out of three in his case isn't bad. I don't know how it could be more fair Do you think for Roberts the president would that. be unfair? And, and if the people love him as much as you seem to think they do, then this isn't going anywhere. And then he has nothing to worry about. I right. mean, he has well, nothing to so worry upset. about. But this you know, is then you should be done. welcoming a, an opening and an examination in the interest of American democracy. Okay, just I mean, wait until the shoe's on the other foot. You know, that's the problem with this thing. I can tell you right now that unlike many people in your party, and in my opinion, you yourself, if the shoe were on the other foot and there were a person in the White House of my political party acting in the way that he was acting, I would be the first goddamn person to drive down there and wave goodbye on his way out the door. Thank and you. I will go so far as to say, if you will allow me a moment, that I think the other day yeah. that... The actions of Adam Schiff and his reading of this parody horseshit yes. was exactly that, was horseshit. Horse and I think they need to watch their ass on some of that stuff. And I think the other Congress lady from wherever, I can't remember, you know, going on her website and selling shirts saying we're going to get the motherfucker. Yeah. That's the kind of shit that I think over. I'll agree with you on that. Well, thank you that's very what much. I've been saying I from the beginning that. is I will call this as I see it. Right. I'm in the interest of of constitutional authority and equal justice under the law here, okay. not party yeah. politics. Let's change the subject for a good. second here. So, Kathleen, where, what are you and the kid doing this weekend? Oh, I have to replace the, uh, the faucet on my sink, and then I'll probably put in a reverse osmosis system underneath. So I'll be at Home Depot tomorrow. Mm, Home Depot. All right. <laughs> See how exciting. Uh, See now that that uh, you know that keeps uh, that keeps Vernon in business. I think right. Oh yeah, you know, well, he. I'm in tool. I was in tool rental this week, so I don't know if you'll come rent. Well, you were in tool rental. That meant, of course, that you rented out presidents of the United States, right? Uh, <laughs> so. And where do you live, Vernon? I'm in Kentucky. Okay, Kentucky. Nice. Yeah. Wow. Now, does, it, does the kid, uh, Sean, go out and help you with this stuff? With, uh, Hell no. That's putting in the new faucet? No. You do not. Right <laughs> <laughs> Home Depot. You hate Home Depot. He's and like, Alex, you're only going to get one thing, right? One thing. Alex was just bragging the other day about how he fixed his toilet and he fixed his ice maker. Uh, maybe he got some of this uh, d domestic bliss from you. <laughs> no, no, she, no. She's good. She's good at this kind of stuff. Plus, you know, she's been a homeowner for so long that you 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 do get to the point where you start fixing this stuff yourself rather than bringing somebody else and paying them an obscene no, amount of to money. Call the guy. Huh? No, man, my air conditioner broke last year and my son was freaking out. And so I go out there and I tear the thing apart because I knew it was either the start capacitor See? or the thermistor because See? it would fire up and it would stop. The thermistor? Yeah. Is that a real thing, I, a thermistor? I, yeah. The, so the I, what capacitor? Was that the, in the uh, back, the to the, back, to the, back to the future? It wasn't the start capacitor, capacitor, so it was probably the thermistor or the run capacitor. What the fuck is a thermistor? It's a temperature oh switch. It's a well, I, know it's, it's a I, I was going to say it's a small thermos yes, bottle. Thank you. <laughs> no, it's a temperature switch. Really? Yeah. See, so he I knows. I this well. great shop in Stockton. I mean, it was like a toy store for me. And uh, took it in there. Eleven bucks later, came back, 
fired it up, ran into the house, high fived my son, and I said, "Who's your daddy, bitch?" Okay, but but if you told Sean you were going somewhere that he would be thrilled to go, what would that? Where would that be? Who me? Yeah. Remember that um, hardware store that was on San Rafael Boulevard? Oh, yeah. Freeman's. Yes. yes, Freeman's. Yes. I like Freeman's. Yeah. yeah. Well, that, but that I wasn't. Mean, that, they just had some really obscure stuff. But 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 uh, but uh, they Sean, had everything. Sean wouldn't be thrilled with that, would would he? No. No. Didn't they have Alex Bennett posters there? Why would they? Bleak. Yeah, well, obscure wasn't stuff. Right down the road, right down the street from Babu's Rugs. Yes, Babu's Rugs. We bought a lot of rugs there. Yes. Babu's. Is I, that still the the, I still have. I still have. I still have those the... rugs in this apartment. Wow. Yeah. Same here. I still. I have two. Yeah. Yeah. I have my. I, well, I have my. When I left California, I had my going out of business sale, and she got a lot of it. You know, I did. <laughs> uh, is that the place that was at the uh, at the intersection uh, in Tam Junction, where if you went to the right, mm -hmm. you went to Mill Valley. If you went to the left, you went to Stinson Beach. Yeah. Oh, Ray Renati's about ready to take up his space here at the very yeah. end of our program. Hey, I just yeah. want to be able to give a proper wave goodbye. Well, yeah, just stick around for the end minutes. of the show. You just got yeah. uh, about a uh, minute, 30 Ooh. seconds before we start rolling right. the theme song, you know. Uh, yeah, that was a good that was a good screen capture, Ray. Yeah. 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 If yeah. you're going to do screen capture, folks, remember that. And if you're going to leave us, leave us <laughs> that way. No, you don't. You know, you know. Uh, but uh, uh, eh, this thing just keeps going on and 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 it keeps going on and on. It's just you know, it's it's not fun. After all, it is. Do you have an ice maker that works? No, you know that ice maker. Now the water doesn't come out, so I've given up on it. Ask ask Kathleen why, and maybe she could tell you how to fix it. No, well, I'm I could replace. I probably need to replace the water pump that brings the water up into the ice maker, but I don't want to do that. I have to move the refrigerator, and it's just too much. I got, you know. Uh, you know, you need the flux capacitor. The, the flux, flux capacitor. capacitor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, but, you know, I, uh, uh, no, I, I gave up on the ice maker. But I was so proud when it was working beautifully. I mean, I went, look at me, what I did, you know. And then all of a sudden, yeah. it, for some reason, just stopped working. So it's just not I, nice. I have no idea. Well. Did you have a gold star for a day, though? Yeah, I did. I did. <laughs> anyway, hey, listen, there's our theme song. Uh, but by the way, I just want to thank you, Kathleen, for being for like three nights in a row or so four nights in a row. Here every night. Love having you here. Sure. Yeah, keep doing it. No. Keep doing it because we love uh, we love having a, a female on the panel uh, as a, as a kind of a regular, you know. And it's uh, and I always especially one under seventy five. I always. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, have you started me Have you started menopause yet? Nope. Oh, okay. Oh, so you haven't even you go. gone through menopause yet. Hey, hey, a hot chick. She's still she's Woo. still going. No, she's okay. not hot because she's not having flashes. <laughs> okay, well. Thank uh, God. It's getting cold out here in New York, and I could use a woman with hot flashes to keep me warm. Anyway, listen, I want to thank you, Kathleen. I really appreciate it. Call, it, call next week, too. We love having you here. Okay. I will. Uh, 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 Ray, thank you. Thank you to Josh. Uh, thank you to Vernon. Thank you to Phil. Thank you to Charlie, to Patrick, to uh, 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 oh God. Oh, damn it. Tony. Tony. Why is it I always forget Tony's name? I keep, you know, <laughs> wanting to say serial killer. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, what I think you all should do is give a big wave goodbye to everybody out there uh, and and let them see your smiling faces. There we go. There they go. They're out of here. They're gone for the night. Uh, thanks for everybody uh, dropping by this evening. Uh, let me get rid of the uh, let me get rid of the citizens panel. Uh, do that and then close down the. Uh, 
Oh, I can. I don't have to close down this. I can just close down the Skype, and there we go. It's ready for the next show, which is Jack Bishop and the Intersection, which is coming up next over most of this same gabnet. Uh, meanwhile, we'll uh, we'll be back again when on uh, on Tuesday after Damian Chaplin does the exchange at 9.30 at 10 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time. We'll be back, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.